it's over. Nuke is going to be the second map of this best of three series between Na'Vi and Esparta. We got a beautiful little fight fly through for you as we take in this scenery here on Nuke. Ready to head into this pistol round. Esparta, T side start. They got to pick this side. So, yeah. an interesting thing to note that they've elected to begin over Ooh, here. Those odds. On the T side, yeah, the odds from GG Bet, very, very one sided and justifiably so. A fast ramp play from Esparta and already Flamey has removed one from the equation as USP heating up now as he lives up to his name, Flamey. Flame in the name, fire in the game. Three kills for him and Na'Vi gonna get that pistol out on the board. I channeled my inner Alex Machine Richardson there. And it's something that I have a lot of in me apparently. <laughs> it, it now, is, yes. take that out of context, Alex is please don't. Alex is inside you? Uh, now we're going to steer completely away from whatever in the hell it is you two are talking about. But yes, uh, I would say just for this round only, and only this round, we're going to bring in Machine and Henry, and we're going to see what they can do. Yes, indeed, Trace. Let's uh, let's get this one started. That's already not a good Henry no, impression. No, I, I, I hate doing them. I, oh, I, I can't do them. I can't. It's almost like we're two entirely Simple. different people. Simple. Stop blowing my mind. <laughs> Over here with the scout outside, he's going to shut down too. And he's looking to bring oh, the heat. What? Simple with the scout showing absolutely no signs of slowing down over here outside. And now for Sotvik and Dima in a two on five. They're going to have to slow this one down if they want to have any hopes of salvaging something here in this round. Flamey is at ramp, holding down the angle. And one by one, they trickle in. Sotfik will manage a kill. And that's at least an M4 retrieved. Something a little bit extra to work with here. He is now more well-armed than anyone on Na'Vi. But it's the lack of HP that might cause some problems. Now, a second kill presents itself to Sotfik down here at the B site. Oh. He's trying to throw it out the map. Oh come on, my. Come on. No, Wait, no. Can you not? Because the body fell, but the gun didn't. I, 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 is that blocked That's off or something? So... I swear you could. No, yeah, you definitely can. It was That's so sad for Sophic. And the insulting thing is, is his body even yeah. pulls it through. Not the gun. But the gun can't. Great shots from Simple outside as well. I mean, that should never really have been around for Sotvik. He gets a couple of kills, but Na'Vi do shut it out. And yeah, I want to talk more about Sparta picking this T side. That's a real gamble against Na'Vi. We know how good they are on this map. And Sparta taking risks here, but they want to practice some of their rounds, right? They know this is the best in the CIS region, one of the best in the world. So a chance to practice whatever their rifle rounds will involve. Right now, it's just down to the clocks, and they're going to get made quick work of. So I'm excited. The fact that they believe in this their T side so much on the hardest half in the game, you, you know, it's so easy to just pick CT. And, and uh, as long as you, you know, have good setups, have good rotations, which you should do on Nuke, uh, you know, things can be fine. But Sparta really making this one hard for themselves. And for that, I'm even more excited to see where this is going to go. First rifle round for them. Na'Vi, bit of a bonus for the SMG, but Simple has the AWP. Oh, simple. Oh, and another kill for simple. Showing absolutely no signs of slowing down is that man. And that's kind of what we expect. Flamey over here at the ramp side, but guess who's already here? Already moved into position with the AWP. Ooh. Ooh. That's okay. close. Watch out, Esparta. Simple has a nasty habit of getting away with things that should not be doable by any human being. Dexter and Patsy, along with Finnegan, they get down into this B bomb site. They get that bomb planted, and Navi are now on for the retake. Ooh, the flashes as well. Finnegan swings, the doors open. They try and double, make it a triple peak, oh. but there's three players and Navi ready to receive. Simple can trade the, uh, that one out and put them in a two on one. Dexter, we know he's good. Do Navi know he's here? Yes, they've got the spray and they've got the trade. Simple, of course, with four. No surprises here. And Navi are going to take their fourth round. Really good stuff from Simple, as always. 12 and zero, in fact. 164 ADR in his name, or. Maybe just in the game. I really worked on that. Actually, you're one. underselling it, Trace. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I guess another side of this is you have to look at if you're Navi, you don't want to let up at all, though. You want to make a statement yeah. with this game, especially over a regional adversary. And undoubtedly on the CT side of Nuke, right? Like, you don't want to, you know, one, two, three rounds, you start to build, and suddenly it's a good half. So, you know, Navi. 
the, the, the longer they can delay this opening round for Esparta, the better it is. I mean, that goes without saying, really, but I'm going to say it anyway. Well, you've said it now. Yeah, too late. And I think Na'Vi is certainly a team that could honestly run over the CT side and just go 10-0. Like, you know, not to say I don't believe in Esparta, but they believe in themselves. That's great. But, you know, <laughs> what, what's the level, right? Na we know Na'Vi have so much to fall back on. And they've seen it all. They've seen everything. So Sparta are going to need some serious depth in this T side. Right now they're walking late ramp. They've got ahead of the smoke. Flamey doesn't know. He's going to spot them and drop down B. Simple is here with the AWP on rotation, but a smoke down will deny him the info. And he's going to try and fight through it. Dangerous decision. And so he bails. Flamey on B. Looks away at the wrong time. They're all over the site now. They're rushing him down. It's unfortunate for Flamey. Oh, a double man. opener for Sparta. Finally around in the palm of their hand. Yeah, B site control going their way, and it's only simple left in the blink of an eye. Everyone else on Na'Vi falters. And simple looking to protect his KD, retreating now from outside. He's 12 and 0 right now. And he doesn't want that to change anytime soon. And you're already on this much, right? You might as well try to keep the dream, keep the meme alive. The meme ambulance, that is. Simple is going to hold on to this AWP into the next round. We're going to see a first one for Espada with five alive. That certainly will help them out. They move forward with some weapons in their hands, some more cash in their pocket. Yeah, I respect keeping the KD clean for Simple. He had to die. I have no plans on doing that soon. Sparta, though, on the board, and that's what is, you know, what we were just talking about, what could be, you know, a, a long time coming, but it will be here in round number five, nice and early on. I like the pace they set down towards B as well, beating out Flamey, who got caught in the corner. Let's see what the plan is now. Lots of lobby pressure. Patsy even trying to get down the vents. He's missed it, but he goes back down a second time and isn't quiet about it either. Very loud. Na'Vi actually wouldn't have known because they were tucked in close, and that could have been great for Esparta, but instead, he just takes it over sight by force. And they're going to be ready for him. Flamey's taking that kill, and he can double back to the ramp room. That's the best part about that. Electronic is also lower, but he doesn't even need to be. If he wants, vent is an option to go back up. Esparta looking outside now, looking for a new route. And he smokes down towards secret. We'll let them cross into electronic. Uh oh. Ooh, they hear the glass break, but simple. Not firing any shots off. Aspada, do you get down? into secret but it is no secret for long as electronic gets the information that players are here. He drops that smoke and that might force Aspada to consider some other avenues of approach in this round. Alternatively, they can just wait for this smoke to fade and continue with the B commitment. But you'll note that Flamey's already moved into position over at ramp for a fast rotation. Ooh. Simple's even rotated down to the B bomb site to join Electronic here. And so Esparta, not to know it, but they would be walking in to what is essentially a four on three at the B site, providing that fast rotation from Flamey comes in. They have to, time. Electronic just pulls off the angle, just decides to leave. And now Tuck's tail hides up here on the rafters. He's going to need some support from Simple as they try and cross into the bomb site. A bomb plant might get found here at bare minimum for Esparta, but it's only Dexter left. If you've blinked, then you've probably missed it. A 1v5 required here, and he does deal with Boomich on the initial peak. But now that element of surprise is out the window. Ooh. He does Spot get into it. the vents, but Perfecto saw him, and he's not ready for a man coming in through the secret. Na'Vi, five rounds on the board as they get this one under their wing. Yeah, I mean, nice little lower stack there. That's a perfect round for Na'Vi, and that's, you know, Esparta being really left with no options, no opportunities after they go down towards B. They lose that first man, uh, and then they just drop lower, and Na'Vi have a full setup, full rotation. That's when it would be a great call to go up the vents, but Sparta obviously don't know that. And the risk to call a you know, four-man vent climb with a bomb and 20 seconds and no lurks out upper just doesn't make sense. So Sparta commit into the stack and they come to regret it. A round for Na'Vi. Right back in after Sparta hit the board. Bomb plant will enable something here at least. 
and things are good for a spider in the short term they can buy up fully even with some remaining cash as well so are you going to be put to the test simple rising to the occasion 14 and zero still yet to die we'll be keeping track of that yeah, let's see how high he can get before this uh, this first death comes on in. For simple. High up on that scoreboard. And that's what he looks to capitalize on. He looks to keep this ball rolling. And that outside push from Electronic. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. Finnegan's going to be there with his AK. That's already going to put Navi down by a one-man deficit. Yeah, simple moving into hell. He's often been very, very quick and mobile on this AWP at keeping a spider guessing. He leaves outside and begins a secret rotation to try and contest this outside control. Now, Molly's and Smokes flashes the full nine yards in towards this A bomb site, but it's not a commitment. The bomb is down through secret. One man, he might have something to say Ooh. about that, though, is Simple, who's already on the angle, dropping that smoke, buys him more time, and shuts down this B site to Esparta. 15 and 0 on the board is Simple. And so you understand why Esparta are trying to avoid him at Ooh. all costs in this round. Boomich is going to hear these players coming up through secret, going to call for these rotations from the rest of Na'Vi. That molly is a little too shallow, and so Boomich is allowed to stay here, but they do have him trapped. The kills come in, but they go left and right, and this there leaves Simple is. in a 1v2 clutch. This is where we're either gonna see him win this 1v2 to keep a flawless scoreline, or finally he might get his first death on the board. Simple in from Hut. He was previously spotted down at the B-bomb site. <laughs> oh dear, Sotfit gets deleted, oh, and now no. Dexter versus Simple. Simple winning the first oh. in the 1v2, but not the second, and he gets his first death here and now in round number seven. Simple, 16 and one on the board. Simply not good enough. Is that it? 16 and one? Come on, dude, step it up. Oh, that's such a nice try. And Dexter playing so wide as well, playing for the fight is a real risk versus the best in the world, but hey, he wins the fight. Uh, puts Esparta back on this T side. It's almost like, you know, if you let Simple tap the bomb there, it's like you're going to lose the round, you know? Because he's just going to flick shot you. He's so fast. And so you've almost got to get ahead of his reaction time. You've got to beat him to the punch. And that's why Dexter goes straight for the fight. Patsy smoked off in the door. She's going to bail from this one. Navi have a bit of utility left, but the by and large run low at this current point in time with Esparta finding their second round. Of course, Sparta only get away with one alive, but luckily have money on that player. Dexter is rich. Everyone else not quite the same. Sparta looking at an A take right now with two players on the roof and three in the lobby. It's hinting towards throwing in utility and taking this top site. But Na'Vi have had no reason to rotate away from this position given how this round has gone so far. They have two here. And a third ready to come up the vents if needed. The issue is, Flamey and Simple are far away. They cannot help. They cannot be any assistance. So it's down to these two defensive players to really put something up. And the wall bang, oh, that's going to limit Perfecto's ability. Electronic through the vents. He's here in time, but he's looking the wrong way. Shot in the back and wants to get a retake for Na'Vi. Yeah, it was actually him, I think, who double-clicked accidentally on the door. And when it reopened, I don't think he realized it was him, him who opened it. Oh, and so no. he gets caught looking in the door. This round's fallen apart for Na'Vi, and a third now on the board for Esparta. That was such a shame that that's how that falls apart for Electronic. I thought he was about to do something nasty there, but just looks away at the wrong time. Simple. Might get a, a, might yeah. get a knife here. Oh, no. Going up onto the roof. And you, that's the difference when you play like non-standard positions, right? Na'Vi have a bit of a... a Simple doesn't have armor. I don't know the bomb radius to T-Roof, but without armor, I think he could be in danger. But on the edge, should be just fine. And I'm sure, sure he's taking fights anyway. Oh my looking for him. Uh, uh, <laughs> there we go. Home delivery to Simple. But, but yeah, I mean, oh, I, I already forgot the point I was just making. Nice. But, uh, Oh, yeah, with Na'Vi not playing standard positions, that's a danger, right? Like, they instantly rotate a player lower, and they already have Simple in secret. So I was kind of surprised, or Garage, rather. So I was kind of surprised to see a player lower when Esparta had no one outside. Na'Vi, you know, rotating because it's been a lot of B plays, but maybe over-rotation in that sense. 
Simple's going to buy armor around his AWP, at least in this round, but that's all they have to play with. But if Na'Vi had a main player, if they had a heaven player, that round could have been far more doable. So now they're stacked on the A site as a Sparta run the gauntlet. Still only pistols, so Simple, he's dropped the bomb. Every kill matters here, but he's already left in a one on four with a kill to his name. He's got to get out of this one, and they're be beginning to hunt as well. They hear him outside. Ooh, Simple, any more from him? Looking for a shot. Won't connect. Third time's a charm? Ooh, maybe not. And he might be on his last legs here. 18 and one does, of course, <laughs> carry on. And Simple, don't oh. count him out of an ace in this round, but he's not Damn ready me. for fin Finnegan to be outside the ramp. And uh, that's gonna be one more for Esparta. This T side is good. These top sides have been really, really, you know, fast for Esparta. And Navi are certainly gonna need to start to patch that up. Yeah, it's kind of scary. There's 15 kills on all of Navi apart from Simple. Simple on 19 kills. <laughs> Whoops. So, don't really know what to make of that. I think, you know, it's pretty telling. As a spider of just, com a spider rather, have completely left outside for the most part, right? Outside of when they go for these secret smokes and try and make the cross, they haven't been challenging, and with good reason, because Simple has been wrecking them, but he is the only man doing damage right now for this Na'Vi squad. He's also the only man not with a buy here in this round. He's relegated down to a D in spite of having more kills than the rest of Na'Vi combined. We're back in the Zeus days of Na'Vi. Gonna let that one hang and see if anyone wants to pick it up from Na'Vi. The simple certainly is, but we're gonna need a little bit more behind that point. Electronic on B. Oh, the boost, and it's excellent. Electronic playing passive is not safe in the stairwell. Finnegan's got a quick B pick, and I love the pace. Again, a Sparta, they do it once more. They get a kill, and they instantly rush off the back of it, taking that lower sight. And this is the round. There's nothing Na'Vi can do about it. All three of their players are top. Simple only has a Deagle. They're not winning this retake, so it's all about saving. But Sparta still have Lurks, or a Lurk, in the form of Dima inside of the lobby. He's going full res. He's one and eight, but he is just waiting. And Perfecto might meet him outside. Not the way he wanted that one to go. Dima's got the kill. Boomish upgrading his gun to an AK as a weapon for Simple. If only he was a little bit closer. He's on the ramp. He's found one of his own, but it's still going to be around for a Sparta. That's what matters most. And these guns aren't even getting saved for Na'Vi either, which is a rough one. Simple is given the respect to get away with his AK-47. But uh, even though I say that, Sotvik is hunting. Yeah, you know, as Sparta, they might be giving simple respect, but it doesn't feel like they're giving respect away of anyone else on Na'Vi. And I think with good reason, you know, they are just outmatching them in the head-to-heads. The only man that's really been able to throw any spanners in the works is the man that we keep on talking about in the form of simple. And this is one of these worrying games now where even though Na'Vi are the heavy, heavy favorites and simple is having a stellar game, if the rest of the gang aren't showing up, and if you've got four players sat there kind of getting in their own heads, knowing that this isn't the performance that they should be delivering, how much can you expect simple to do single-handedly? In this round, Boomich gets picked almost immediately by Dexter on this orb. And so a man advantage taken for a Sparta straight out of the gates. Yeah, how much can one man do? <laughs> this is the question. This solo AK, again, is being asked a lot of. The Eagle does tag Patsy coming through the ramp. And they're going to commit here. Oh, maybe not. A Sparta throwing a lot of grenades, but right now is selling a fake outside Finnegan's Used all his util towards secret, making sure Na'Vi don't have that outside area. And they will go back to ramp. They will commit to this position. Simple is no longer here. And it's all down to Flamey with a Deagle. Close position, only one. And that gives so much room for a Sparta as they trade for the ramp room. They can go B, they can walk back lobby to top. They can go a heaven flank. The world is their oyster. And so, you know, in terms of, like, trying to spot the problem areas right now for Na'Vi, outside, not a problem. Simple's looked great, right? And he's had support from Electronic, whatever he's needed. Uh, Ramp, I think Flamey's been doing a great job, even in that round there, right? Only as a Deagle, he needed to get, like, three for that round to feel too doable for Na'Vi, and he's only good for one. But what more can you expect from a Deag player? And I think whenever we've seen a Sparta try and take Ramp room in the rifle rounds, Flamey's done a very good job of making it competitive and giving them a run for their money. It's this A site. 
this triple threat of Electronic, Perfecto, and Boomich that feels like it's really struggling right now over here on the top side of the map. Uh, one of the solutions you could look to if you're an RV is maybe to like switch things up and bring Simple into that upper bomb site. I think the problem with that though is, is then you're having to adapt your strategy and kind of play out of your comfort zone in a sense, right? Move away from your standard game plan. And truthfully, I don't think Esparta are the kind of team that should be forcing Na'Vi to make those calls, right? I think that's not really a... Uh, yeah a sign that you want to be signaling to a Sparta, that you are feeling that vulnerable and that you are making these adjustments. One thing I think we might see from Na'Vi moving forward with gun rounds is a little bit more aggression, some more map control to be taken, right? Like, that, that can be hard. A Sparta have been going for a lot of lobby control with three or four players almost every round. So, you know, Na'Vi, they don't want to walk into a setup. But at the same time, if they feel like they've got a gap, if they feel like these outside smokes have multiple players behind and electronic spots, someone on B, yeah, Na'Vi, they for sure could take the lobby and swap map control, swap positions. Stuff like that can give you advantages in the CT side of Nuke when you're maybe not feeling it and you're losing bomb sites very fast. Sometimes it's about getting the information so you know at least where a spot to go before they get there. Yeah, look, in this round here and now, we actually do have Simple over in a different spot. He's going to go down towards ramps, trading that position with Flamey briefly. And now Flamey moves back in while Simple begins this long rotation in towards Secret. Now, Esparta not showing their hand over here towards outside. Instead, it looking like this might be another one of these inner plays. Now, we mentioned that Flamey has been looking good over here towards Ramp Room. That needs to hold true in this round if Na'Vi you want to start to put some more rounds up on the board and deny this lead to Esparta. But the big hitter for Na'Vi has already been bested by Dexter. <laughs> Dima drops Flamey at the Ramp, and Esparta have got the B-bomb site. Oh, man, they couldn't get out any more wrong there on the Ramp. As much as Boomich wanted to try to bring this one back, it's not going to be the case. Electronic goes all in on the decon peak. It's just perfecto. He's going to be trying to back out with his M4 in his hands. And that's going to be another one for Espada. So far, they're starting to win the half here. Seven rounds to the five of Navi. And surely that's not what any of you had in mind out there. No, and uh, not on this map. Not after they... I mean, you know, sort of believed in them after they picked the T side, but right, you know, I still... I'm still not sitting here thinking Esparta are going to win this series, but they're showing a real hand. They're showing a real fight in this T-half. Dex, uh, Dexter taking Simple down in secret with the AWP outside in that round. And they had two outside for Na'Vi. Electronic was there as well. So, you know, Esparta, they take ramp. They trade on to Flamey again. And that's a B site. And you've got, what, a four on three with an advantage. Like, it's, it's just, you know, before a spider get the bomb down, they always feel, uh, they always seemingly have these advantages. And that can really cut Na'Vi out of retakes, as it did early in the game of Inferno in that first half. But Na'Vi piecings together moving forward. And it came out with a 10-5 a, a by the end of things. Well, right now, that's sailing. That ship has sailed as Esparta are up to seven in their T half. This is a great first half for Esparta, but they haven't finished yet. Don't want to give up before the time is over. Smoke's on the molly outside. Sopfik has run the gauntlet down to B. He's going to get hurt by Electronic, but again, the info isn't there for us, uh, for Na'Vi. They don't know how many players have gotten down towards this position. So Sopfik, he could be one, he could be four, and Na'Vi are waiting to figure that one out. Flamey, Shooting on the box and repositioning, hoping they don't check him, but he's heard footsteps. Want to bail with that grenade, and he's got a timing. They're looking the wrong way. One, and the Molotov. That's not going to happen. You're going to get traded, but he gets away with two before the kill comes through. Simple missed shot, re uh, responding as he runs through the smoke with the orb. Down to 10, thanks to the Molotov. And Esparta, they have ramp, but this time, for a change, they're at a disadvantage. Come the sea stream, hard legion up 9-3. This map, too, Simon up in the series, as you can tell. That's ESL underscore CSGO C with a twitch.tv and a forward slash right in front of it. Sock back. Oh! Boom, it's just looking the wrong, wrong way. He didn't react. He hears the door, he hears the fact, but he doesn't go back and take the kill. It's going to be a bomb plant on the B bomb site. Esparta in a three on three. Navi coming in for a retake. No kit. Simple's on 10 health. But he has found a wall bang kill. Don't know how, don't know where, but Wait. he's done it. We'll just take it. A Ooh. two on two. Hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we get a, a replay as he is all that stands right now. 
Yeah, I, I don't have, a, I don't have a clue. I'm trying to look I on the map and I'm like trying to piece it together. Did he shoot through the ground? I don't know. He could have. It is simple after all. Uh, I don't, yeah, that's an interesting one. Surely we'll see it Like he was second. rotating a secret. So yeah, I'm just I, trying to think where that even could have been through. I don't have now, a clue. I bet when we get it on the... Oh, oh no. It doesn't even get to hold on to the AWP. Eesh. Oh, dear. Let's what look. Is, is this it? Got a little flamey to kick it off. Yeah, he oh, finds two. We can see this. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's okay, good. okay. okay. Soft Soft yeah, yeah, what's next? Simple. Well, here we go. Oh, it was oh, ramp site. It's actually... It's not impressive, it's impressive at all. but it's not. It's <laughs> not what we thought. <laughs> no, it's not I what we thought. Yeah, no. I, I sorry. I, I, there was a moment where I'm like, did he like wall bang the the door or like the the, the ramp kind of like sheet metal? Yeah, I know. You, you know what I mean? I can't. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know the call cool for that like specific wall bang because I've never seen anyone do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Trace. Don't know how I could get through the day without, you know, your uh, motivational one-liners. One-liners, one -liners, yeah. yeah but that's what I'd call that. It was great. Had all the makings of a great one-liner there. The setup, the execution, everything. The line, Perfect. only one of them. Flamey now has simple Ooh. boosted up on the boxes. Now, a double ramp setup is not something we've seen from Na'Vi before, and they don't check for simple. That allows him and Flamey to get two between them. Finnegan will get that trade at the very, very least. Flamey. Now set up down here at the bottom of ramp. Dexter has his eyes firmly fixed at the ramp room as well. And it's a bit of a standoff here between these two. Ooh. Weird Western music. We can cue that up right now. Oh, Flamey's Deagle. Only good for another, but it's still two kills for Flamey, and that might be enough. Now, Electronic, whenever these B plays have come in, it feels like he just runs out the econ and dies in the majority of these rounds. So let's see if this one pans out a little bit differently. He backs off, tries to regroup with Boomich, but he will meet his maker. Dexter dropping two, leaves Perfecto in this clutch. Two kills to his name right now. He needs to double that score line if he wants to pick this round up for Na'Vi. Now, both these players are very, very low on the other side, but Dexter holds down the line. Nine on the board for Esparta. And a chance at even more moving into the last round of the first half. A tactical or technical pause, rather, called on in now. As there might be a few more upsets going on, perhaps in the uh, in the PC side for yeah. one of these teams. Na'Vi, they set up perfectly for that ramp play. It's been somewhere a spot a bit abusing all T side long. Na'Vi double it. They get a lot of damage. Flamey the first kill, support the second. And then Flamey tags a third to 10 HP, but Dexter just closes around on his own with four headshots. Excellent round for Dexter. He had a couple of nice ones back on Inferno, but it didn't really hold too much weight when the spotter got kind of rolled, 16-7. Kind of rolled, uh, yeah, I, I could see that. Not here, not now, though. Yeah, no, this is not the case. Neither it is on this tree, a stream of C. It feels like there's a little bit of a Copy pasta going on here. Hard Legion up 9 4 over Simon. We have a little bit of a pause over for us, and that should be drawing to a close. If you are interested in watching a little Simon gaming in the Hard Legion of Esports, make sure you go to www.twitch.tv slash ESL underscore CSGO C. There that was end. really good, man. I like it. You gave like enough time so that if anyone was actually typing it in as that's, you were reading, they can catch up, you know. That's because I'm always thinking about you out there that are watching. Thanks, You're, dude. Me. You, no, definitely not thinking me. about you. Oh, it reminds me like when I, whenever me? I talk to my bank on the phone and I'm like giving them my pin, for example, I'll say like, oh, yeah, it's one and then three and then five and then seven. And I just leave those gaps so that people can actually <laughs> and, have the time to input that. And what was the expiration date again on that card? Uh, that would be the 06 of the 20th. So pretty soon, actually. Nice. Harry, Harry and hot. last four digits, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harry Russell. <laughs> we'll be sure to clean that up for you. His mother's maiden name is... Uh, muscle. Muscle. Yeah. That is it, yep. Harry muscle, muscle Russell. You don't muscle with the Russells. That's what they say. But Russell, he got muscle. And so do Esparta. They've been flexing their way through this T-side all game long. Na'Vi may have had a 4-0 lead, a 5-1 lead. But since that fifth round has been taken, well, boy, it's been eight in a row on this terrorist half. Esparta... Not giving anything to Na'Vi, but defeat. And will the final round of the half 
feet that as well. We'll see. Sotfix pushed outside. It's a door hit. Boomich is playing close. That smoke fading and he's about to see them lining up utility. Bomb drop. All the info in the world with the re-smoke down as well. Boomich knows and he stopped them from committing. A one by one a Sparta will fall as they try and take this A site. And now it's up to Dagster, Dexter and Finnegan to two on five this bad boy. Yeah, Flamey holding down ramp. Gets the information that they're here. And... Now these rotations coming through preemptively for Na'Vi. Electronic set up in the double doors. Does see Dexter not Ooh. able to chain together the kill, but Flamey mm. will. And there's a sixth round.
They're looking to close these curtains. Is Navi? They're just down by three, and we're gonna get this pistol round started. An outside presence here from the side of Nadas Vincere. You can see the GG dot bet odds, the official bookmakers of the road to Rio. Gamble the, responsibly. Yeah, these are some of the best odds they've had all series. Uh, these are almost better than how they started. And Esparta, I mean, they're leading, right? That's a good sign. Nine rounds on the T side is not an easy job, but Navi, known to uh, well. Be pretty good on Nuke and simple, pretty good all round. And he's found the first in the yard this time. Dexter getting a trade, but he's not going to find the second player getting Hellside. He's got to deal with that. Oh, jump across the ramp, the escape, the old switcheroo, and Perfecto's dropped a player on ramp. So Boomish has gone all the way from outside down ramp towards B, and he's here with the bomb in tow as well. Patsy has to hold the line on his own, and now it's Dexter in the clutch. He's had a great game so far, but this would be so much to ask for. Missed shots from behind. He's still alive. Low HP on Perfecto, but no one can find a killing blow, and Navi have tucked in. This should be their round. Yeah, Perfecto, and by that I mean absolutely recto, that of his spotter and now Ooh. we continue down the path that is watching dexter just try to put some of them away wasn't a whole lot of opportunity there for him to defuse the bomb and of course he doesn't so we're going to see navi go up to seven and pending the outcome of this round harry this is a big one we look at what could potentially be the eighth on the board but more importantly something to stabilize the economy yeah, I think there's a lot riding on the beginning of this game for Na'Vi, right? Like, they're, they're, they're not in a good spot. I don't think there's any denying that. It's really only been Simple and Flamey stepping up. So I think that was a much-needed confidence-boosting round for someone like Perfecto, who finishes that first half with just, what, two kills to his name, three kills to his name? Certainly not where you want to find yourself. Not when you've got a guy in the server going 22 and 5. And so this round, Na'Vi looking to keep that pace high. They get Boomich down through the vents. Rotation not coming through yet from Esparta. And this bomb is down through secret. It will be the B play for Na'Vi. At some point in time, Esparta might want to think about bringing a couple of players down here. They do have a double ramp hold on the Esparta side. So keep your eye on that to help out down at B if needed. Something I will say is that Finnegan is now checking outside and is like, if we can go to number seven, he was just looking towards outside, holding for the cross to secret, but they're already down. They're already through secret. And so Dima, as he comes rotating in, is he gonna be ready mm. for the heavy little foothold that Na'Vi have been able to grab? Dexter with this scout looking to do damage, but instead it gets dealt his way in high supply by Perfecto. Patsy will get one, but might just want to hold on to this Galil. I don't think we see a Sparta attempt this round, and indeed they don't. They back on out. It's going to be an eight on the board for Na'Vi. They get that conversion in the bag, and now they look to build up and tie things up at a nine-to-nine scoreline before that first full buy comes in for a Sparta. Yeah, that's Patsy and Sotvik back here towards T-Spawn. It's going to leave Finnegan over on CT in this... This round is over, as Harry has outlined, as Harry has said. Now, interestingly enough, you know, we look around this group and we think, okay, well, what is exactly happening within the CIS region? And, you know, for us, when we look at the list of names here of the 12 teams, you look at a team like Navi as a clear favorite. And then after that, it kind of gets a little blurry. Uh, and, you know, I have to ask in a different way, Harry, if you agree. I mean, Navi being up there, I put Virtus Pro somewhere along those lines even though they are playing on the other stream right now and i think they have fumbled around a little bit but overall the cis region quite a few names here it's just navi's the one that really sticks out yeah and you know that there is like a world in which navi don't do incredibly in this group and, and that certainly doesn't feel like it could be out of the question right sure. i think when you look at teams like fours like vp this is going to mean a hell of a lot to them and in terms of, I, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just reading into this matchup. What? Ooh. He just got a collat with a collateral deke. league shot from Salt Fake. You absolutely cool. love to yeah. see. Uh, All right. Well, okay, yeah, sure. Cool. I mean, you so know, that there was basically a full eco cool. from Sparta, yeah. <laughs> and they find wow. the round ten sure. on the board. And as I was saying, if this becomes an indicative insight of how Navi are going to play, if it is going to be the case that it's pretty like slow warm-ups into this. Uh, into this run oh. for the Na'Vi side. 
then that really could hurt them. Because, you know, while a team like Asparty, you might be able to put through their paces just on the back of, you know, the names and the tenure that you have on the Na'Vi side, I don't think that's going to work in the same way versus the Forzes, versus the VPs of this group. Na'Vi are ecoing, you know, with like 1,700 on two players. That is rough, man. Na'Vi are in a tough spot right now after losing to a full eco. That was Asparty with save guns and just a gamble D shot that essentially won the round. Boom, it's just gone. And you talk about VP and, you know, teams that should be going through this group. VP just lost their opening map in overtime to Prosto. And that is, yeah, that shouldn't be happening, really, for VP. Yeah, but, you know, not even going to make excuses. I just want to point out that ever since that Berlin Major, it has been kind of a different look from that squad. For sure, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, forget about answering why. It's just the reality is they have dropped off. And, well, they are going to be looking to come back in this group as our Na'Vi in this game because they don't want it to go to three. That would be a shame. Simple. Oh, a solo clutch. He could have done it all. He had a hero. Well, AK. He had Armour Deegan that round. The only man really with anything. And he made it close, but not going to be really giving that clutch a go. It's a tactical pause for Na'Vi. Yeah, just to remind you all, the Super Series starting after this matchup. Mouse Sports taking on FaZe Clan right here for the SL1 Road Rio, powered by Intel. Here's a moment of brilliance for you all. Finnegan closes out the round two. No, actually, he gets killed here by Simple. And then Simple picks up the AK, and before you know it, I mean, he was, he was either going to die the guy going CT or he's going to die with the other guy. So there you have it. Back to you in the studio, Harry. Yes, indeed. We're here on the sidelines, Trace, and the server conditions, well, they're looking good for a Sparta. The same cannot be said for the Na'Vi side. Simple, the only man who's bought his umbrella on this pretty rainy day. They had an umbrella opening here for some reason. We did. That was Chad Sponge Birchall looking to increase his bad luck. Yeah, the baddest boy in the block with the baddest luck. The baddest luck. Churchill. Bad Churchill, of course. Mr. Churchill would like to have a word with you. <laughs> Mr. Brad Churchill would like to have a word with you. <laughs> Up next, Mitch and Dean are going to be taking the rest of this game. Mitch and Dean, of course. Man, it's getting to speak to Mitch yesterday was nice. I missed yeah, that guy. Know, nice dude. That isn't what you guys were saying off air, but <laughs> I guess that's fine. Now well, look at all the weapons over here for Navi. Ooh, Something to consider. Flash. flash looks good for Finnegan. Sotfik good for one. That's a good trade, though. Na'Vi will take that in this kind of round, right? They are happy with a four on four. They can drop B with the smoke. They can take the bomb mini. But those smokes are fading, and the bomb hasn't crossed. Are they going to go full NIP here? The bomb is now stuck on simple behind red. But if there's any man who knew what to do with it, hopefully things shouldn't be too problematic. Dexter's focusing on the garage anyway. He's not watching this with the orb. So simple can cross for the moment, but there's a second player to worry about, Dima. They know they have someone trapped in the garage, and that's what Esparta are focusing on dealing with one by one as Dexter gets caught. He can't move out of the way. Simple does get Dima down, and Boomish has followed up. The orb removed. Na'Vi hang outside. They look for fights, and the fights are fantastic for them. Patsy alone in A, and Boomish making sure they can't come up the vent. That's where Finnegan wants to go, and maybe the smoke would be the play, but his escape has been cut off as well. Secret is being watched, and it seems that Na'Vi do have a ninth round in them. Finn in the name and Finn in the game as this round draws to a close. <laughs> it's like what they would say at the end of, yeah. you know, French movie. Yeah, Finn. Finn. Absolutely yeah. love that. I thought you were going to go like a shark way with it, like Finn in the name, and he's swimming in the game out of this side. I would have, if he was like about to do some sick clutch, then that one would have worked yeah. as well, right? Then you take it the shark route. But if it is like, yeah, just swimming around like a shark, running away, <laughs> not so much like a shark. They don't run. They swim. And they also quite like a uh, an altercation, Yeah, I imagine. I don't know. I'm not a shark. <laughs> Oh, really? That's exactly what a shark would say. Now, not completely important here, Russian word for shark, is Okula. And now we know. It's cool. Oh, sharks. cool. Uh, uh, now, A plate, not going to come through from Na'Vi. They'll set up back here in the lobby, and Molotov reigns into the top of Hut, but that is swiftly extinguished by Finnegan. 
Dexter going to take some aggression, looking for a gunfight, and he just might get one. There are is one player now here still in the lobby. That's Perfecto. Oh, what? Ooh, Bye, Dexter. Nice Delete. little shot there to find a man advantage for Na'Vi. Five on four. And this is a lot of weight off the shoulders of Na'Vi in this round. Right now, they can ease back into whatever this game plan was towards outside. Maybe not the results they were hoping for, but Flamey works hard to keep this in the advantage of Na'Vi. Patsy chases him down. The lineup is almost Ooh. in for Sotvik. Simple and perfecto, a two on two. This was a four on five for a Sparta that they've been able to turn into uh -oh. a doable, a more than doable round. Simple has made a lot of noise. <gasps> oh, Dima checks him. Low HP on Simple, and he's not able to win that out. Now it falls to perfecto to win this 1v2 clutch. Ooh, the bomb is why? controlled by a Sparta, and a rotation down through the vent is available to Patsy. The other window wasn't broken, but he chose to break it. Like, he's looking for fights. He's been very loud about this, but this is a dangerous play. 15 seconds, and he's got to kill them both, really. There's one, turns oh. around, and Patsy is quick. Oh, saves man. a Sparta, saves that round for the CT side, and we're getting closer and closer to Dust 2 by the second. Yeah, and this, this is a Sparta. We are a Sparta. They are up 12-9. They're really putting Navi to the test here on their map pick. Now, as a testament to some of the stuff that we spoke about prior to this game starting, Nuke, Nuke definitely a favorite map and a map that Navi looked good on. So what's going on here, Hugo? I mean, it was a great T side for a Sparta, right? Like the CT side, we're off to a, it's, it's a, you know, that's a third round for a Sparta. Obviously they win that eco off of the back of Sotfix double deeg and then anti-eco Navi in the follow-up with only pistols for Na'Vi, and then Na'Vi went around. Esparta come right back in with one. That was just a two-on-two, two, a simple... I don't think he realized how deep Esparta had gotten, how they'd already pre-rotated B. They beat, uh, beat him to the punch. And of course, him getting lined up to put him on low HP certainly doesn't help as well. If he's full health, maybe he wins that fight versus Dima. Instead, Na'Vi got a force, and that's when you know they're in a predic uh, predicament right now. That's when you know where Esparta are in control of this game, because they are making Na'Vi uncomfortable. Simple has 27 kills, and that's the worst part, because he's been fragging his nuts off since the start of this game. And no one's really been around him. No one's really been holding their own alongside Simple, and that cannot afford to happen. A topside play by Boomich. Good night. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. They put him in a tomb, and now a Sparta <laughs> trying to hold off the ramp room. Try something new there. Don't know if it's landed, I but like maybe okay. the ramp it's... play coming in from Na'Vi now. It's not amazing. It's not amazing. No, this ramp play has so, slowed right down. This and that's is a, the... Sorry, oh, this is a go. perfect example of a round where you take lobby and you can back up to... Uh, take ramp, you can back up to lobby and you win the round because if you walk into A right now, no one's there. But I apologize, Harry. I really cut you off. And... Oh, no. The karaoke hour must continue. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. Either way, yeah. Navi slowing right down to a grinding halt. They heard Harry sing and they said, you know what? Y'all can keep the ramp room. We definitely don't want to go through that again. So, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I do Ooh. like to think this is a bit of a personal attack. Finnegan taking up a position in heart for a bit of a personal up-close attack of his own. Ready with this MP9. Player's about to come his way. Simple. First Ooh. man in. And is wow. able to deal with Delete. Finnegan almost immediately. Now trying to pick the pace up, trying to secure this A bomb site. Simple's been used to doing heavy lifting, and that needs to continue in this round now. Electronic does get that trade onto Sotvik, but up through the vent, Dima goes. Very little time left. Simple has his teammates back covered, and he might do enough in this round. Almost <gasps> single-handedly oh no. to make the oh magic happen. No. They boosted up, but they haven't seen Dima wrapping close. Simple has a hunch, but a hunch is not enough. Perfecto They're just swinging swings him. wide. And can't get the trade as Sparta 13 on the board. Almost a 30 bomb for Simple. And the next nearest man on his team is Flamey with 18 kills. It's when you look beneath that that you realize just how deep this problem lies. There is a 23 KD difference between the man at the top and bottom of this Na'Vi squad right now. Craziness. They swing him one by one, though. Like, this is not a Na That's not Na'Vi. That's not what they're uh, often doing. Simple just swings. Like, if he wins that fight, it's fine. But Perfecto, he waits a second. If you're going to do that, you either go with Simple or you don't go at all. You don't give Dima two seconds to just hold and wait. Obviously, it's hindsight, but, I mean, what else have we got at this point? Na'Vi 
That is a hell of a round to lose. Now, for us on the other side of things is we had the opportunity to run a poll and we have the opportunity to show it live on air. Now, what we're going to do in that is either go hashtag Harry for the boom, boom, boom in the tomb and all that, you know, other stuff that he should have left in the other room karaoke sort of analysis. Or we have Hugo B. Byron uh -oh. of Brighton Beach over here, and that's going to be hashtag Hugo. So let us know, chat. We're going to show the results live on air. We continue to play with our, our tools up here. And as you can see, there are your options. Now, jump Who back has into what right? it. We've, we've heard of, you know, armchair analysts. We've heard of shotgun weddings, but you've never heard of the karaoke breakdown. And that's what I'm having right uh, now. I, I could say I've seen a few breakdowns amidst a karaoke <laughs> session, but... Yeah, no, that's very true, Karaoke is one of those things that's only fun when you're doing it. Not really as fun to watch. Well, that's a lot. It's not so much karaoke as carry. Okay, that's from Simple in this game right now. He's looking very, very good. He's got that Deegan hand in this round, but he's been the only shining light for Na'Vi. They try and duck dive across here towards outside, but Sotvik has heard it and he catches the timing. Simple is blindsided down in secret. The bomb is dropped. Sotvik's on three, does get caught by Boomich up on top of the silo, but that is the only bit of good news that Na'Vi have in this round, and it does get returned swiftly by Dexter. Flamey, 1v4 required. He does get down towards the B-bomb site, and he is looking for this fight onto Dima. Does land a convincing deke shot there to make it happen. A 1v3 still required, still on the cards. Flamey has been this second man within the squad that we've looked to to step on up. Can he do it again? Trying to look for these fights at secret. Will he be ready for two? They are ready wow. for him, and Finnegan has it dead to rights. 14 on the board for Esparta. Now, interestingly enough, you've all voted for this. Now, you've all brought this upon your, not only yourselves, but us included, the poll going in the way of Harry. So, Hugo, any any thoughts there? Any kind of, like, I last mean, words for putting you away and back into storage? You were like, okay, what's better, Harry's thing that he did or just Hugo generally? I mean, I didn't really have anything to offer there, Trace. You're comparing, you, heard it you know, from the apples, horse's mouth. Nothing to offer here. <laughs> Hugo, with nothing, be you know? Byron. I didn't, I didn't do anything. What are you comparing? Just <laughs> us generally? Is it a popularity contest? Yes. Okay, I've lost it. Cool. That's fine, you know? I think we could tip, you know, I'm just I'm not mad, okay? For those I'm, of you who are tuning in with a meal ready, this might feel a bit over-salted here as we head into this <laughs> round. Malding, of course. <laughs> Salt now. Yeah, you're going to have to check the sodium levels over on Navi as well. They drop this map. Well, we go to three, and that's going to be decided on Dust 2. And if Navi lose this series, um, yikes, big yikes. Like this map is one thing, it's their pick and it shouldn't be happening anyway, but impressive stuff for Esparta. But right now they are two rounds away from sending us to dust two. Now this is very, very impressive from Esparta, right? Because even though it does feel like a bit of a no-show from the majority of the Navi guys outside of Simple and Flamey, very few teams have been able to take a convicting, uh, convincing victory over Na'Vi when it is just Simple showing up, right? Even if you think back to that, like, dreaded game in the Pro League where Simple drops, big, what, like, yeah. 54 kills versus Big and then loses that map, it still went to overtime, right? It was still very, very close, and that's because Simple can do things in the server that may can count for almost, like, two or three guys. And so Esparta are doing a great job of making this look convincing, but in this round, it's turned very, very sour very, very quickly. Dexter is left in the clutch. It was a one-on-three. He's turned into a 1v2. Feigns the drop down from heaven. And so now we're just going to wait a moment. Has Na'Vi considering that this main flank could come through, but no one's fallen for it just yet. Perfecto's inside of the site. Meanwhile, Simple is playing back in the hut. And it wouldn't surprise me if we see Simple, or uh, Perfecto rather, look to exit and join up with the man back in hut. Instead, he hangs around, holds onto the heavens, and he catches Dexter looking away from the bomb site. Ten on the board for Na'Vi, trying to recover this game. Yeah. Yeah, and weirdly enough, Dexter right there, right before he goes down, you notice... He's got a Molotov. He's got a Flash. He's even got a decoy if he wants to get super freaky with it. But, you know, for what it's worth, you peek out, you die to Perfecto, and now there's a 10th on the board for Navi. Yeah, you're at least trying to find out where someone is before you use Molotovs, right? You don't want to throw grenades that aren't doing anything and waste your time and be caught with a gun or with no gun in your hand. So maybe you're hoping to get a one-on-one, -on -one, then stick the bomb or Molly Hut. Loads of options available there. But yeah, I mean, couldn't find a kill. Perfecto holds a nice off angle. And Na'Vi, they've broken the money. This is it. If Na'Vi wanted to 2-0 this series, if they want to win this game, if they don't want to play Dust 2, 
It's about locking down every single round from here. No more mistakes, no more collaterals. Not that you can control that. And, uh, and well, a flawless T side, six in a row needed. Esparta a full eco. This gives something to Na'Vi. This gives the beginning of the comeback in their hand. And that's me, of course, assuming this eco is not going to go the way of Esparta. I feel like it's a safe bet, but... Well, we've seen yeah. weirder things happen here. We have. Between the Road to Rio and Pro League, anything is possible, Harry. Anything is possible, and, and that is very, very true. That said, you know, it is just vanilla pistols. Vanilla, of course, the most basic of flavors. But that's not to say you shouldn't appreciate it for how I, nice it is. Well, let's not call it basic. Let's call it uh, most popular. It's most widely yeah. known. Yeah. And most widely accepted. Now, speaking <laughs> of which, here comes a little bit of an action from the side of Navi. But look at the four players for a spotter. They're all grouped up in hell. They want to put a little bit of presence outside. And now Ooh. the information's there. Perfecto has gotten a peep. But will he enjoy the show? Perfecto takes down one and what is a push? An all-out aggression here for them to try to take some weapons from Navi. 15 seconds, the bomb goes down just now. And only Finnegan and Dima alive. And make that just one. This Antico has been made nice and quick work of by the likes of Navi. Oh, there's a kill. Perfecto right. getting double dinked, and that's something, but it's not a lot. Navi still take a four alive round and get up to 11. Money is fine, and really you're at the point where if you lose a round anyway, this game might just slip regardless. So Navi again looking for flawless rounds. The Orp is out for Dexter, and he has been a bit of a, a shining star for Esparta. Sotvik top fragging this one. But Dexter's still been there where it matters. And let's see where he takes his AWP. Simple doesn't have his own. Navi is still rifled up. Yeah, and unfortunately for the side of Navi, it's Electronic that is really in the deficit here. Not having a good time with it today. Molotov's coming out on top of the hut, trying to give themselves some space to work with here. Navi have found themselves down towards the vent. They've also even got Electronic and Secret. Dima just hiding, waiting for his opportunity to pounce here in the lower site. I'm not sure what happened, but Boomish tried to cross without the smokes being down. There was only one smoke, and he ran to him, uh, like, in front of a Molotov, and no, it wasn't smoked, and he gets shot by the orb. Like, Boomish, you know, he's a great player, but a lot of the time for Na'Vi, you see him make very risky opening plays off of a spawn, and that can, a lot of the time, put Na'Vi in four and fives and to their deficit. So, you know, while rewards often come with a risk, well, it's a risk for a reason. Sometimes it doesn't pay off. And in this round, when Na'Vi needed it more than ever, it doesn't pay off. So four on five, and they do have lower, but Deem is inside of the site just stalling. This round shaping up to be real weird. Again, running this clock to the max. Yeah, something that's a real uh, problem here is to get this bomb to B, you've got to go through lobby. And Esparta have just pushed ooh. in and taken this position. Now, this, like, looking yeah, at this, this yeah, the, round the, over, the, the, the B site just is, is a no-go right now. There's still a player at ramp. And yeah. so they try and hit A, they try and go up the vent. 20 seconds, they run into Patsy, they do best Ooh. him. Electronic able to deal with Finnegan. There had to be a change in plan there from Na'Vi, and it's that decision to go up through the vents that rewards them handsomely. Yeah. They read that entire situation very, very well. And now they get that bomb planted in a three-on-two post plot. Oh, I thought that was done, Harry. I thought you were right. That bomb could not get towards B, and the player in the lobby stalled things out for so long. Patsy killing Perfecto, and thank the Lord that Flamey was there to trade to keep Na'Vi in this round, because Esparta, they're going to have to save their guns. That orb, it finds first blood, it finds nothing post that. Deem is dead as well outside, and De uh, Dex is trying to hold onto this gun in the secret area. He'll be fine, doesn't need to worry about the bomb here. It's going to be a 12 for Na'Vi. They still recover, but I mean, I thought that one was really gone unless, you know, Na'Vi ran up the vent at such a fast pace. It's a risky play, but it, it works wonders. And Na'Vi, 12 rounds. Three in a row. They need four more. Yeah. Well, Na'Vi came. Na'Vi saw. Came and saw again. They do what they have to do, and then they break the law. But of course, for the time being, the only thing they're trying to break here is this marginal score line from Espada. Very admirable to get themselves up to 14, yeah. but potentially Navi here 
starting to bring it back, itching right back into the game itself with 12 rounds. They've at least broken the money and they know that. Boomish is on a MAC-10, so he's going to do something heroic here and try and get some anti-eco kills in the mix. Yeah, Boomish is going to go fast out down through the vent and he does get through. Now, there are already two players here down at the B-bomb site. One of these being Ooh. the AWP on Dexter. You gotta watch out here. Dexter. If you know me. And Dexter run. will run away now with this little AWP. It's a game of cat and mouse. And Navi. Look at the stack. Yeah, they leave the lower side of the map. That's the right decision to make as everyone from Esparta had rotated down. Boomich is left here to continue keeping oh, these players in position. Dear. Dexter actually even tagged Electronic, but through his teammates, so he TK'd, and that kept him Free alive. Work. 13 rounds on the board now for Na'Vi, oh. and this could all fall apart for Esparta. In the, in the very closing segments of regulation, 13 to 14. You know, we, we were giving some flack to a couple of players on Na'Vi just because it did feel like they were underperforming. I think that Flamey deserves a huge pat yes. on the back for keeping this up alongside Simple. He was the only guy who was stepping up with him in that first half. He's kept that showing. And another guy who I think deserves a lot of credit here is Perfecto. He came into this second half with two kills to his name. He was dead last on the board. It was dire. And he has really turned this one on its head. Well, let's not also, you know, skip over the fact that Boomich in a big way of the first map. So all in all, in this series, it's been individuals that are stepping up. Um, and unfortunately for the Navi show, it's just not electronic here on new yeah. just yet. Now, he has done a pretty good job on this T side of getting down into the secret area, which he is pretty much known for. There are entire games where you'll see him spinning the entire thing inside a secret one way or the other. Yeah, and we see him on CT side, right? Like he was there a lot, but he wasn't really able to hold it. We think about the B splits that Sparta got away with on T side, like dropping ramp, splitting secret to B, and, and that's stuff that electronic couldn't, couldn't hold. He's having a rough one. So, you know, that maybe shows why Na'Vi are in this position. Now, in this round, they throw smokes outside. Esparta have no info. They've also not gambled anyone lower. This is a real risk, but it's the right call. Na'Vi have faked it. They've gone with no one B, and they're going to be going for a top hit. And this could be a round for Esparta. That flash is so good for Na'Vi that it hits Patsy. It makes a lot of noise, and Boomich is going to be able to find him. More players on the site, though. Esparta are stacked up here, and Na'Vi are walking into it. They've been stalled out by the Molotovs. Do they still want to commit, or do they want to dive down vents instead and take lower? That seems to be the play. It's a safe one for Na'Vi, but those rotates have come through. Dexter's here, only good for one. Simple holding the lobby. Woo! He's dropped two more on rotation. They can go back up the vents if they please, and that would be the call to make. His demons come from the ramp room to here. And Na'Vi, I love it. Playing with yeah. their food. Up, down, back, forth, left, right, off, on. And they're back on with a T side round to 14. And you know, Hugo, Dima, he's sick, but ultimately, little too much on his plate. And he will not be returning to the buffet. It's going to be Na'Vi. They run away with this round. 14 14. 14 all, even. Just about put this one away. Yeah, you got to feel rough if you're a Sparta here. But this is, I mean, you know, this is what it's like playing against one of the best teams in the world. And you let your foot off the gas and they, well, they're going to give you a drive by. This is what Nip felt like yesterday. You know, losing a huge uh, lead on back to back maps versus Astralis. And, well, Esparta, it wasn't huge here, but it was a five-round lead. They had a 14-9, and Na'Vi have done everything in their power to make things equal once again. If you look at the money coming into round number 29, Esparta do not have the buy that they hope. It's got to be the awful situation of deciding to eco for OT or fully committing now. You may as well half buy it for Esparta. That's probably the safe decision. Put some pistols in so you can still win, but uh, hold out for round number 30. Meanwhile, on the sea stream, well... We're not the only potential overtime in play. No, that's heating up there between Simon Gaming and Hard Legion. Now, Simon Gaming, one of the squads I said I think could surprise us here in this CIS division. And they've got this round nice and close. This actually could be sick. Let's stay on it a little bit, seeing as we have a tech pause. Nah. Wow, wow, wow. Nice try from Indeed. the Simon Gaming guys. For anyone watching, you'll know that I'm a big Norbert fan. I like that he's found his footing over here in the Simon Gaming roster with some capable guys around him. Wait, is that what that says? Norbert? 
No, but yeah. The, the lead, 07 BRE. The lead speak, I don't know, yeah. as boomers, we really don't. It's part of actually bought yeah. here. Um, this is, I, I kind of like it because it's decent. They had a player saving, so he's dropped a gun over, and they've actually afforded three M4s in this round, but utility lacking on a couple, and only one kit, plus no orb. So in just in keeping you all up with the latest and greatest, what's happened here is we've called the, caused a pause. It seems as though Perfecto's technical situation has become a little bit defecto. Mm. So perhaps... It'll be fixed, and we'll be back here just shortly, in just a few seconds, from I believe is the word I'm getting. So From perfecto to perfect, no. <laughs> or more like perfect, question mark, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, oh, that's a nice soundboard you have. Thanks, dude. I've been working on it. Nice. I've been adding some things to it. Got a Zeus sound effect as well. Right. Okay, I'll, I'll push the it. button now. Ah! There we go. Dude, that's, that's pretty sick. cool. Yeah. I got the simple line on here. Maybe I could play that one even now. Who knows? If I'm feeling really lucky, I'll hit the button. I'll play that simple Wait, sound you, effect. You have the simple sound effect. I do. Look, you ready? Yeah. Hit the button. I, sorry, man. I can't actually find that. Hang on. I got so many set up. Uh, I think it's on the page. I think it's on like the fourth page. Uh. Well. This. How do you lose this? There you wow, go. That was, yeah, that was good. That yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Is that simple? How do you lose yeah. these? He's in the studio. Well, 14-14, let's get down to crunch time. It's the last two rounds of regulation in the second map, and Na'Vi, on their pick, they have pulled things back. Sparta had a great tee side, a nine round end of first half, and Na'Vi have been recovering since. They've come alive as soon as the Sparta hit 14, and they're looking for just those little lucky number two more. Dexter, that's a good off angle. Oh, this is a great setup, actually. Sotvik is baiting them in, and Dexter is going to be able to get multiple kills if they feed him here. Electronic, we talk about him having a rough game. Well, this is not the setup you want to walk into when you're having a rough game. Not ideal. Oh, Ooh. that works. Sure. Ooh, cool. There it is. Maybe it is the setup you want to walk into if your name just happens to be Electronic. As he deals with both the players down on B, Na'Vi are quick to move into this vacant property. The landlord has kicked down these old tenants, and now Na'Vi go moving in with that bomb. They're going to get it set up down towards the B-bomb site. Dima trying to deal with Flamey still outside, Ooh. and he does get that kill. So now a three-on-three -three afforded to Esparta here at round 29, 14 all. And it's at this point that one of these teams reaches map point. Will it be match and series point for Na'Vi or a chance at a third for Esparta? All three players coming in through the ramp and Electronic, he's waited all oh, game long baby. for a big moment. Four kills in this round to solidify a 15th for Na'Vi. It's match and series point in favor of the favorites on their map pick. That they was... take the last, what, six rounds in a row to get us here. That is wild when you think about it, right? Because there was a time where this was 14-8 in favor of Esparta. Yeah, it looked like Dust2 was coming through. And Electronica loved the play, right? He reads that setup. He throws a flashbang. Once he gets the kills, he immediately opens the doors and takes B. He knows Esparta aren't going to have more than two players lower. And they've only seen one dude. They can't over-rotate. So Electronica has afforded so much control there. And he wins around for his team with four. Sotvik spammed through the smoke. He's been great in this game, but he might not even have a say into this round. Dex is trying to cover his back from the garage, but the smokes are down for Na'Vi again. The rat back is covered. Dexter gets a kill instead. Electronic is still dead in secret, but Simple has responded onto a different man, finishing the job that Electronic started. They now know that Dexter here is, uh, is here as well. Na'Vi want nothing to do with it, and they'll set Simple up in secret. 36 kills to his name. If he killed everyone here, it'd be the 40 bomb in a regulation win. Yes, sir. Can Navi do it? Or are we going to OT? As Drake once said, it's not a whole bunch of love when we go OT. It's often when we see these teams throw their strap books a little out the window. But this wasn't a series we expected Navi to show a lot of their, their strats in, you know. But uh, I guess given the situation, the current situation that is, it's 15 14. So now would be the time to pull one of those tricks out of your bag. Boomich with a kill on to Dexter. Simple is going to get caught off guard. And that is going to prove to be a big problem. 
Yeah, it's a nice off angle for Finnegan. Simple looks towards the fence and gets caught. Flamey opens up onto A and Na'Vi. They're going to get wrapped. This is the bomb as well. Patsy's dropped it as a second player that's so low. Patsy's stalling 20 seconds and an expert play. Boomer just caught on the site of Perfecto rather. Flamey get gone as well. And Esparta have done it. They've taken us to overtime. Money was not their maker, but they're going to get it done with what they got and bring us into bonus rounds here for the road to Rio. 36 kills in regulation for the man that is simple. You might know him as Simplest Vincere. Leading this pack. And of course, Harry highlighted that Flamey is also doing that. He's on 27 to 21. Meanwhile, pretty even over here for the side of Espada. They've done a pretty good job of keeping Navi in this, this game and really keeping it competitive. So hats off to him, Espada. No one or at least no one that I've talked to really thought you'd bring them to it this close. No, not a not an overtime on, you know, such a good Na'Vi map. Yeah, man, it's like we all said though, right? Like Na'Vi, it's all about the individuals. And with this Esparta squad as a team, they're probably better. Now, I don't think that's what anyone said, but that's how it's looking in yeah. the server right now. And that is just wild. Trace, you just mentioned it. The kill distribution for Esparta is like neck and neck. Everyone's chipping in. Everyone's pulling their weight here to make this happen. And the same cannot be said on this Na'Vi side. 36 kills on Simple, 27 on Flamey. That's 64 kills between the two of them. That's a couple of kills. Electronic trying to pick up the pace outside. He does get shot in the face, but Boomich is there to keep things even. Perfecto just about gets out of the ramp room as well. Is now Na'Vi looked to set up over here. For an A-site play, Boomich has made noise getting into the garage. Dima now Ooh. knows and is wrapping onto him. Boomich just turns Ooh. around. Ooh. He has an inkling and gets brought down to one point of health in the process. Still deals with the man outside. This A-play looking to come in. Mollied out is Finnegan. Ooh, Patsy up above him, tucks himself in. Perfecto hasn't checked it, and Patsy is allowed to rain down death. Finnegan still here and still a problem. Na'Vi, they try and get down through the vents, but it's Flamey and Boomich on 101 one points of health between them. And that's very unjustified in describing this situation because Boomich, one shot away, one grenade away, even getting hit by a flashbang would be certain death yeah. at this point for him. Yeah, Finnegan or Patsy sneeze and it's all over for Boomich. You see them, they're both on 59 HP themselves. Kits over there on Finnegan and they're going to wrap towards the hall side of lower. I think Flamey's just going to send Boomich out on his own and, and let Boomich die here, and then Esparta won't uh, expect a second player, you would think. Let's see. They're going to tap uh, the bomb. They're sticking it. They're on the defuse. He's got to spam the smoke. Wrong side, wrong side. Uh, Flamey. Flamey! He's not going to be able to stop it. The defuse comes through. Both players die for Na'Vi, and well, oh well. It's going to be the opposite of what I said. Boomich was hiding. Flamey was the one going for fights, and he won't spray the right position either. So, crazy situation. This is Boomich getting away with that kill. Never should have happened. Dima had the wrap, but Boomich, great stuff from him. Not enough for a round, though. It's a Sparta finding back-to-back -back rounds to bring us into OT and to take the first of it. Now, we do have a bit of a technical pause, and that would be due to a team speak issue. So we'll be ready to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, jump back into the game here before you know it. We're not gonna let, let you miss an action here at all, DSL one Road to Rio. Team speak issue, I'm told. Imagine that. Classic. I do love it when it gets to about 15, 14, 15, 13, 16, 16. Team speak issues now a little more prevalent around those time frames. And it's it's interesting. We'll give it that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not saying that he has the robot voice in Team Speak, but he might. The old ping problem. Greetings, Earthling. Well, we do apologize for the delay. We'll be ready to jump back into this any second. Meanwhile, we've got some OT over here between Simon and Hard Legion. And Vert is pro. Vert is pro. They have pro 100. Just barely on the ropes, 10 to 9. And by that, I mean pro 100. Prosto. Prosto. Yeah, Prosto. That's well, the... my bad. You know, I've read it no, Pro no, no. 100. You know, I'm it's, done with you guys. But no, because everyone called them Pro 100 in the beginning, but it is Prosto. 100 is Sto. Yeah. Russian. And then also the, the word Prosto means... Prosto. Something else. It's something to do Sto? with like... Sto? What? It means what, maybe? I don't know. I think it means like the number one or something like that. Well, it or, means 100. No, yeah, I don't know. It, it has some other meaning. Yeah, two Prosto for one. does. It's like a two for one. It is like a play on words. 
but obviously I'm just not intelligent enough to no. know the answer. Well, no one really refuted that, Harry. And of course, as we look into this game a little bit deeper, what are we looking at then? Yeah, well, immediately, Flamey gets dropped in this round, and that is a huge scalp for Dexter to find in this one. Flamey, one of the guys who has been putting up consistent numbers here for Na'Vi, removed from the second round of OT. Sofik holding for this cross. There is a big gap in this smoke, and he's going to look to exploit that to its fullest. Now, in amongst all of this, Electronic has gained qu quite the foothold over here in Garage, and he can actually clear main now. Oh, he didn't see Sotvik and that there. Look at Secret. Maybe it doesn't matter. If Electronic can get into heaven, then you're poised brilliantly to go for an A-side play. But you're right, right? This Secret crossfire with main, Dexter gives up his position, and Boomich does find Sotvik immediately. That is huge, because yeah. now this position of Electronic in heaven is so valuable to Na'Vi. Electronic what can have this boom? whole round dead to rights, and indeed he does. Two kills up in heaven. And Dexter, all that's left to do is hold on to this AWP. A 16th will be found for Na'Vi as they make the A play work wonders. Yeah, the timing of that kill from Boomich is unbelievable. He kills the main player, and that forces both players on the A site to look towards main. They think they're being wrapped by Na'Vi. The ramp player rotates as well. Electronic's already up above, and he can just you know drop a bullet down below, take the round for Na'Vi. Kills two on the A site as well. Or, you know, the top hot player, Na'Vi, deal with the other man inside of the site. That was Boomich doing that. And Na'Vi up to 16. Dexter, he had a chance in this round. He peaked secret. He even found the opening kill onto Flamey. But uh, when he goes for that secret peak, Na'Vi, they see him. He misses his shot. He can't go back in a risk of dying to Simple's orb. And Simple, it must be a nice feeling for him. Doesn't have to play into that round at all. Not in any way. Uh, as Sparta will make quick work of by the rest of Na'Vi. 16-16, last round of this half of OT. With how this game has been very T-sided, Na'Vi are looking for 2-1. to one. Yeah, that first to 19. In case you've never watched in overtime before, in case you're watching a professional CSGO match for the first time, well, I want to introduce you to this guy, Simple. See, when he joins the server, crazy things start to happen all around the board. And in this notion, this was a game where we never thought Sparta had it in him to take Navi and put it on him. But they certainly have done that. And this OT so far, we're tied up neck and neck. Dima, some shots down towards the radio room from ramp. And he's going to land some damage on a simple grenade out as well. And here comes a flash. He's not going to be alone. Dima has backup here, ramp. And they're going to go for it. Dexter with the AWP. Oh, yeah, such a hard spot for Na'Vi to get out of. And mm. Simple can't get back in with the orb. These two players crossing left. Dexter miss. He goes for it with a Deagle. If they lose the round, Dexter is going to regret that decision. He has a great couple of kills to start off, but he might have let Na'Vi back in with an unnecessary smoke push. He can't afford to make these mistakes versus this team, but Dima does pick it up down on B. Another two on three for Na'Vi. And do they want to commit to this lower site with the rotations already having come through? They will get that bomb plan. He's going to tap it first and foremost. That's going to make Finnegan show his position. Albeit there are three alive, so every avenue of approach is viable Ooh. here. Ah, Finnegan! Close the door! Playing around with the door. Hold on! What? Flamey just stuck it? He gets the bomb plan <laughs> in. Balls of steel on what? Flamey, but... Oh, it all falls apart for Na'Vi in the post plan. Now, Esparta, uh, getting a 17th on the board. Yeah, 19 is the magic number we're looking for to take us to that third map if Esparta are able to get it done. Now moving in to their T side, Na'Vi. Having to switch things over into the CT half. Now they trailed behind in a very big way here yeah. in the first half of play, right? They only managed to put five rounds up on the board. Oh, but um, what's rather. yeah, what's oh, what's big for Navi here is they have the money, right? So they get they get everything they want. They get simple on the orb. They get to deal with this uh, this play for Esparta. But where do they go? A bed dive attempted. Boomich going to spray. He does get some assistance from Simple. Now Navi don't know they've cleared that up. They might think there's a player down B, but what they have done is at least remove the only player attempting that bent dive. Flamey on the ramp. We know he's a tank here, and Navi, you know, good advantage to take early into this round. It's not undoable. 
to go flawless on the CT side. But we know, let's think back to what Asparta got away with so many times. It was you know, outside fakes, a lot of ramp splits, a lot of B plays in the end. Didn't really do a lot top side until the later, uh, the latter stage of the half. In which case they found a lot of good timings where they forced Na'Vi down lower with these outside smokes. They took ramp, they would go back top. Sometimes winning it, sometimes not. Right now Na'Vi are poised though and ready on this A site with a man in the vents to rotate up fast. Vector drops another smoke, drops up there towards the squeaky door, and rightfully so. Espada just set up inside of lobby now, or excuse me, now with the remaining four members that they have left. A little bit of four positioning on Dima, and Patsy's able to swing should he run in any contact. That's gonna be Perfecto peeking Ooh. out from behind the silo, finds Dima with ease. The rest of the squad's here, Perfecto with two, holding the oh. fort down, holding the line. But Dexter. And with this AWP, he's going to have something to say about it. And for the time being, he's going to look to grab that bomb and get it planted here. Spot up. Not going to make that happen, though. This inner upper hit did not go well. Yeah, the first CT round of overtime for Na'Vi goes their way. 17 to 17. A Sparta now setting in for the long haul. They said it couldn't be done. In fact, never been done before by this squad versus the Na'Vi side. And here we stand, Trace, double OT on the cards. A neck and neck series thus far. And a Sparta taking on these heavy favorites in the form of Na'Vi. They've made it look more than competitive thus far. And is that set to continue now? They've been keen to not lose a man early on. Or Sotvik was the unfortunate player to get dropped in the opening of that round for a Sparta. And the one prior, they're going to set up these outside smokes again. And this is where Electronic and Boomich are going to have to have something to say about the matter. Electronic attempts to deny that smoke. Doesn't quite manage to do so. Yeah, and that's cool. Every team throws different lineups. Even if the smoke lands in the same place, they have different ways to throw it. And that's to uh, keep the teams on the toes, stop them from molotoving off the, the bounce spots, like on top of red. But it's a fast A play. It's a fake with those outside smokes. Again, they try and force a rotate of Na'Vi out of the A site. They do a good job, but Electronic lines them up through the smoke. Two players in just a couple of bullets. Sotvik coming in on a flank. Boomich is going to trade for the door. It's a smoke spray for Boomich with two again. Sotvik in a clutch he's been so good and this is going to be a lot to ask of him seven hp and simple again in the lobby with the one-on-one -on -one, saving it for navi he's <laughs> laughing at his teammates he, and he, he's he, going to save he. the day 18 rounds got to get that defuse in and one more left until a second overtime or and, a done deal and you look at that round and it just it's all over the place right and that's kind of what I'm trying to tell everybody when it comes down to just what happens in overtime to the playbook. Like where these teams go, where they tend to take things is a little bit more sporadic across the map. Also, I want to talk about Electronic, right? He has had a rough game. He has had a really, really bad one with like eight kills and like 20 rounds deep. But as soon as we hit Na'Vi coming back on the T side in regulation, man, Electronic comes alive. He gets those double B entries at 14-14 that put Na'Vi on map point anyway, match point. And, uh, and, and he's stepping up here and now. Doubles spray through the smoke. He's got 16 kills, and that is a real recovery considering how low he was down on that scoreboard at one point. So props to Electronic. He's come alive for Na'Vi and Simple has closed all these OT rounds for them. And so suddenly the, the, the atmosphere in the server changes a hell of a lot, right? This has suddenly gone from being a Sparta's game that they were upsetting in, that they were almost running across the line, to now one they have to try and claw back to double overtime, and they have to do it a man down as well. Losing Dima early on to Flamey over at the ramp room. Outside smokes looking to get set up again from a Sparta as they try and run the gauntlet here. Outside, Electronic still floating around in the garage looks to be a threat. Even then, there's a rotation from Simple over here towards the Hell side. Not donning that AWP, only on the M4. So a little bit limited in terms of what he can bring to the table here in terms of helping Electronic. And Electronic not in the need for help. Esparta, they get everyone past those smokes. Four players down through Secret. And only one man at the B side of the map for Na'Vi. But that man... Well, it is simple. And I say that with some hesitancy. This man is equal part machine, equal part beast as well in the server. And he's looking to go unchained here. Simple. 
has to deliver. He's all alone at the B side of the map. He needs at least one if this wants to be an easier round for Na'Vi. Here's the double door swing. The bomb is dropped. Simple getting pressured, oh, but he no. answers the call, doubling up. Blaney's in on the rotation, and a missed shot from Dexter. Damn.